Welcome into the channel. Today on the channel, I'm going to be talking about a brand new psychological thriller film now premiering on the Brooklyn Horror Film Festival called Mother May I. But is this film worth a watch? Find out next in my review. When Anya starts behaving like Emmett's recently deceased mother, Emmett must confront his deepest traumas to free his fiance from this bewildering possession. The film stars Kyle Gallner, Holland Roden, Chris Mulkey, and Daphne Gaines, it was directed by Lawrence Vanicelli. So I was really intrigued with Mother May I. I was really familiar with Kyle Gallner. I was really excited that he was in this. He just came off of starring in the movie Smile, which is red hot right now. And you have Holland Roden. She's been in films like Follow Me, which I've watched recently. And she was also in Escape Room too. So I was very familiar with both actor and actress in this film. And this film, it's very hard to talk about because honestly, it's not really my thing as a film, but the subject matter is really tough and really tough to really even talk about because you have Kyle Gallner's character Emmett and he's going through his mother passing away and you learn with him that he really has a lot of abandonment issues his mother abandoned him when he was a child so he never really had that relationship and that really got to me thinking about a lot of people out there that don't have a relationship with their parents they've been abandoned they're an orphan any of that kind of subject matter it's really tough to talk about and this film it really tackles that issue and how it can really affect somebody in the mind and you can really tell in this film that he's really definitely mourning the loss even though he had those abandonment issues from his mother throughout his life he really still is mourning the loss he really wanted that mother that really loved him and accepted him and i think we really all want that as humans then you have anya she also has some psychological problems as she really wants a child and a lot of women they do want children and that's a really tough subject as well and even though this movie really wasn't for me, I have to say they do a really good job of getting into the mind and diving into the mind of both characters. There is a lot of scenes in this film where it becomes a little bit repetitive, but I think it's really trying to do that to really mess with your head. You're really trying to figure out what is actually real and what is actually fake. And I think in certain instances, I think some of it might be real. And I think other times it may be a dream. I was really confused if really Anya is actually possessed in this movie or if it's really all in Emmett's imagination. And that's really what you're guessing throughout this film. But it is a really slower burn kind of film. So if you're not a fan of slower burn film movies and stuff where a lot of the times you're going through the motions with a lot of repetitive scenes and a lot of repetitive motions, this may not be for you. And I'm going to get a little bit personal with you guys, but the whole subject about Anya wanting to have a child, I can really relate to that. My wife, she really wants to have a child and we've had trouble having a child. And it's something that really affects us both as a couple. We've been together for seven years and it's really been a tough thing for us to really try to accomplish. And I know it's something that my wife really wants. So this movie, it really spoke to me in that aspect because I really do feel for my wife and I definitely feel for the character in this film with Anya. And I think a lot of women, they really just want that feeling of actually having a human in their hand and being able to take care of that human and making it feel like they have some type of purpose, especially for women, because sometimes something like this that can really affect the mind and really can make you question, is it you? But really, it isn't you. As far as the whole abandonment issue, now, I have never really had that problem in my life, but I can see where people would really relate a lot to that abandonment issue because it's one of those things where a lot of parents these days, they will just not care about their children, abandon them, and never see their children again. And it's really sad that that is a real thing in life. But unfortunately, there are people out there that are not really responsible. It also tackles that subject once your loved one is actually gone. What do you actually do with your life? Do you sell their belongings? Do you sell the house? What do you really do in that instance? And I think when that actually happens and when your loved one is gone, you really are at a loss. You really don't know exactly what to do and what to really move forward to really get you to get your mind off the fact that that person is gone. And even so more, it's how do you even feel in a situation like this when you've been abandoned and you weren't really loved to begin with? I thought that the acting was done pretty well in here. I just think there are certain parts in this film where it's a little bit confusing. I would say as far as camera work in this, 
it's done pretty well. There isn't anything too much that I can really say about camera shots. I think most of the camera shots are pretty standard. There is some nice shots where they're on the water and there is a part where Emmett is trying to teach Anya to swim. And that actually is a big detail in the film. I really went back and forth what score I was going to give this film because on one end, I really wasn't the biggest fan of the execution and as far as the full movie itself, but the subject matter, it really spoke to me. So I think I'm on the middle of this film. So I'm gonna give a score of this film a two and a half out of five. I would recommend watching it if you're into slower burn films and if you're really into psychological thrillers and just how people are with the mind and how they really deal with loss and other problems that they're dealing with in their life. If you're cool with those kinds of situations, I think you may enjoy this film. But thank you guys for watching this review and I'll see you guys on my next review.